What's up? This is Mario and welcome to Awesome Audio. In this video we will talk about how to calculate the distance between guitar frets as well as why Verdi's tuning cannot be used on a common guitar. Guitars are built for equal temperament, since guitar frets are spaced by ratios of the twelfth root of two. This means that the length of the vibrating portion of the string on a fret relative to the next fret will also have that ratio. This is because the frequency of the note you generate and the length of the vibrating portion of the string are inversely proportionate. For example, at half the string you generate double the frequency of the open string, and at two-thirds of the string you generate three over two times the frequency of the open string. So if the vibrating portion of the string is divided by the twelfth root of two, then the frequency is multiplied by the twelfth root of two, giving us a semitone increment. If we consider a 648 mm bridge to nut distance, also known as a scale length, when you put your finger on the first fret, you reduce the string's vibrating length to 648 mm divided by the twelfth root of two, that is, 611.63 mm. Then, the first fret would be placed at 36.37 mm from the nut. And for the next fret, you divide the previous length, 611.63 mm, by the twelfth root of 2, or you divide 648 by the twelfth root of 2 squared, which equals 577.30 mm. So, the second fret would be at 70.70 .70 mm from the nut, that is, at 34.33 mm from the first fret. For the rest of the frets, you repeat the procedure, or you can use this formula instead. Keep in mind that the fret distances will depend on the scale length for which the guitar is constructed. When attempting to tune a guitar with Verdi's A4 equals 432Hz tuning, there is a problem that's seldom considered. This tuning has just intervals, specifically Pythagorean intervals, while guitar frets are spaced in equal temperament. Tuning your strings to Verdi's tuning gives you a weird mix of Pythagorean intervals and equal intervals. The Pythagorean intervals would not be maintained in the frets, and notes that should be the same in different strings would have different frequencies. For example, C4 is found in the first fret of the second string, so you multiply its open string frequency in Verdi's tuning by the twelfth root of 2 once, and you obtain 257.45 Hz. But C4 is also found on the sixth fret of the third string. If you multiply the open string frequency of the third string in Verdi's tuning by the twelfth root of 2 to the sixth power, you get 256.29 Hz, so their pitches are slightly different. To calculate what would have to be the fret distances for Verdi's tuning, first we must find the ratios of all notes relative to the next semitone in Pythagorean tuning, but the Pythagorean ratios we usually find are all relative to a single note. To find the ratio between each tone and its next semitone, we divide each of the ratios we have by the previous ratio, and the numbers we obtain are these. Observe there are two different numbers. For simplicity, we will refer to these as the blue ratio and the yellow ratio. In equal temperament, there is only one ratio between any note and its next semitone, which is the twelfth root of 2, or 1.0596394. It's also important to observe that the Pythagorean ratios oscillate around 1.0596394, that is, the blue ratio is a little smaller, and the yellow ratio is a little larger. In this figure, we observe the blue and yellow ratios placed on the first frets of a guitar, Again considering a 648mm scale length, this means that for the high E string, the second fret would have to be placed at 72mm from the nut, but for the B string, the second fret would have to be placed at 64.14mm. The distance of the same fret is different for both strings. And as we can see in the figure, these discrepancies would be found throughout the whole fretboard. Even if it was attempted to refret the guitar, straight frets that span all six strings couldn't be used to achieve Pythagorean intervals. If you still wish to tune your guitar to A4 equals 432Hz, I would recommend you to respect the equal temperament in the frets by tuning the strings in equal temperament as well. These would be the corresponding frequencies. With that, we conclude this episode. In the next one, we will talk about the sine wave and sum of waves. If you enjoyed it, you may hit like, leave a comment, and share to those interested. For more content like this, you may also subscribe. See you in the next video.